regarding crops that have been grown on chemical fertilizers and pesticides. Uh, I mean, we have been eating these kinds of crops for I don't know how many years now. People don't seem to link the effects of what they're getting to what they're eating. In my work, I can see that happen every day. When we eliminate certain foods, then the person suddenly starts getting better. And I have my own personal experiences in all this. I mean, I was like told that I can't eat strawberries. I was told I can't eat tomatoes. I'm allergic to wine. I'm allergic to, you know, I mean, a lot of peaches. And it wasn't, the fa it wasn't true. It was just the pesticide on top, which I used to wash off, or I used to think that I used to wash off. But now I'm not allergic anymore. So all the side effects I was getting being normal side effects that are accepted as part of everyday life, you know, like migraines, rashes, you get hives. All right, you take antihistamines, you take panadols or you take sindol. You know, it's, it's, it's like a given, it's okay. It's okay, you can do that. Because the chemicals that are used, unfortunately, are byproducts of the oil industry. And this is not present not just in our food, but even on the products that we put even on our skin, on baby skin, newborn baby skin. So this is something which is being taken internally through food, being put externally through our skin. So all the body is absorbing these products all the time. And this is apart from the pollution, obviously, which is also a byproduct of the oil industry. Uh, but yes, it is linked. It is directly linked. And uh, like uh, male, male sterilization is on the increase in America. Uh, but you do have a lot of autoimmune disease, which is happening. Lupus, multiple sclerosis. You have a lot. And now what I can see even from my work, and this is happening even here, because here we do have the tendency of like looking at other countries and saying, but we are better off. But no, we are seeing now young, the younger people being on medications for certain ailments. We are seeing children who are getting sicker now early, at an earlier stage than like 10 years ago. So yes, it is affecting us. But it, people don't make the link. There isn't the link with what is happening with the food that we are consuming. So that is why there's, there is awareness, but it's, I mean, if the people are not open to that awareness that is being created, then it falls on the fears.